welcome back guys hope you all are having a great day so in this video i'm going to be showing you guys how to make um the cool monk genesis nft using no other software except paint 3d yeah paint 3d just like um the previous ones we have been doing so it's not it's not hard it's just um just similar to um, the previous videos i've done so the first thing as we usually do is to get a reference get a guide you can see i have mine already so all we're going to be doing just to be tracing out um everything you see here so we're going to go to 3d shapes yeah then we'll go here to 3d dodo soft edge so you click on it then zoom in so we can see what we are working with properly yeah so we're just going to roughly sketch the face aside same thing i'm going to trace the head using the same to 3d then soft edge dodo 3d dodo soft edge so i'm going to trace the um the face the head rather So this is the head. Yeah, so this is the head. The next thing I'm gonna be doing is um I'm gonna be creating the ears. Yeah, the ears. So still the same shape, still the same tool. So I was gonna sketch the ears. Yeah, so we've gotten the ears. Yeah, so I was going to duplicate this, then we'll get the second one. Then the next thing um, is the egg on top of the head. So, same two, just gonna sketch the egg. So we've gotten the egg, yeah. So what else? We have the head, the face, the egg, the ear. The next is the body. So still the same two, 3D doodle, soft edge. It's gonna sketch the body. Yeah, so we've gotten the body, so we have everything. So we can zoom out now and just try to place everything in their place. So this is the face, we place it here. Okay, then the head, place it here. And see the head is covering the face, no problem. So we're just gonna click here, the Z axis, and just move it back. Yeah. You can see that is this you can adjust the face a little yeah so i can put the egg here yeah so just select everything just keep here for now so i'm missing this the egg yolk so you can zoom in a little yeah you can see what you're working with properly so you can see what you're working with properly and 3d shapes click on yes fair and just click and drag see it's identical to the yoke yeah yeah let's see yeah, I can see so. Yeah, I can see so we have our yoke so you can 
zoom out now now place everything in their place yeah yeah so we can take the ear and just put it here and we'll send it back yeah so that is it so what we're just gonna do we're just gonna zoom in a little so you can see what we're working with properly yeah so you click on this copy and paste so yeah so I'm just gonna resize that a little yeah now I'm gonna paste again I'm gonna increase the size yeah I'll send this one back yeah you can see I've gotten the ear so you can just um, select everything yeah so copy and paste then move it to the other side yeah then we'll just come here to flip it over yeah to the other side and boom we have a second ear it's actually looking nice it's looking nice so what next um the eyes the nose and the mouth so for the eyes you come here to 3d shapes still sphere click and drag yeah then try to match uh, match it with the original eye how the eye looks like yeah so we have the eye so what we're going to do is just copy and paste then we'll have another eye and the next one is the nose and the mouth so for the nose you come here to 2d shapes 2d shapes not 3d 2d then click on rounded square just draw a little nose a little nose yeah little nose you can come here and change the color change it to black yeah change it to black then come here and click on make 3d and automatically it's 3d so you can zoom in so i can see we're working with properly and try to uh, resize this to look just like it looks in the picture yeah you can see that looking nice that's looking nice so i'm gonna zoom out yeah so we're gonna copy that copy and paste and paste that yeah so same thing come here and switch to the other side then boom we have our nose okay so we're just gonna keep this to our side for now then we're gonna do the mouth so the mouth same thing still on 2d shapes so we're gonna be using um rounded square as well and just click and drag yeah click and drag same thing make 3d yeah so this will be the mouth okay so the next thing we're gonna do is um, the rainbow coming out of the mouth so it's the same thing um 2d shapes yeah just gonna draw this let's see if it fits in here properly okay yes it does okay yeah this is the rainbow it's so gonna do same thing make 3d yeah make 3d so we're gonna turn um just gonna duplicate this into four so select copy and paste yeah so just gonna select the two copy and paste yeah so I've found 
the rainbow so everything we have everything now so what we're gonna do just um start painting okay so we start with the eyes and paint this into black so you come here to color and click on black yeah so next thing we're gonna do is this little um stuff on the eye so just come here to brush and click on let's say let's use watercolor okay and adjust the thickness you can see if i click now let's say i just click on it you can see how big um the brush is so we want a smaller thickness so we can be able to get that round uh we don't want to paint the entire eye so we'll just adjust this to let's say 10 yeah so change this to white you can zoom in a little so you can see what you're working with properly and just yeah so that's it so we'll do the next one just small circle inside another one just smaller than the previous one yeah so we're gonna zoom out now yeah, so we've done that, so we're just gonna click on it, copy and paste. And just move it over here. So we have the eye, so we're just gonna keep them aside for now. Right? Then the face, let's color the face. So we're gonna use fill. Click on fill. So if you don't know the color, you can use the eyedropper. Just click on the eyedropper, click on the um, color you want to use and just tap. Automatically gives the object the exact same color. So next thing is the head. So same thing, use the eyedropper and select the color. Then boom, is the color. Same thing here, same color. Yeah, same as here as well, same. Okay, so we have that done. And what else? So the um the egg, right? So come here to white and click. So that is it. And the yolk. Going to use the eyedropper as well. Click on it and give it that color, right? So this one we have black and black. So that's for the ears. So you can get them black, black, then black and black. So that is it. That is it. Yeah. So what I'm going to do now is just start fitting all of them to their place. So bring this back here. Then the eyes. I'm going to bring it out. Yeah, same thing here as well. Yeah, so the nose, I'm bringing them from here to this place. The next thing I'm gonna do, click on here to bring the mouth. Yeah, the mouth. So we're gonna be painting um, the color. So we have red, um, red, yellow, red, yellow, green, blue. Okay, so red, yellow, green, blue. So click here and go to brushes. Click on fill. Then changes to red. We click on this and we have red. Next one is yellow. We have yellow. Next one is um blue all right yeah the next one is green or oh, is it green before blue okay green before blue okay um uh, let me just change that to green then blue Okay, so that is it. 
so the apple looking nice um it's looking nice so for in case you didn't know that was ctrl z to undo the um, your last action just press ctrl z then undo the last action yeah select this bring it over here so you can see um the rainbow doesn't actually look as if it's coming out from the mouth it just looks like something that has been pasted there so to give that kind of effect as though it's coming out from the mouth we're gonna copy this that's the mouth i'm gonna paste yeah there so we're just gonna bring this forward then come here and just resize this you can see it actually looks as this was coming out from the mouse you can see if i remove this it just looks like something that has been pasted there i'm going to put this in there you can see this is that cool effect as this is coming out from um the mouth yeah you can see that's looking nice so next thing um next thing we have not done is um the hands the hands yeah so you can see the other uh, hands and here in the belly of so so what we're gonna do is come here to the shapes and click on line then just draw just a little line here yeah so you come here and just paste it here yeah so if you're okay with it you can click here press to apply but if you want to duplicate it you press here then you stamp and when you press it you begin you get another one so instead of doing copy and paste you just press stamp okay so i'm gonna be using that so go and click online again to draw the second one as well yeah so come here and paste just click here and that is it right and the next one is going to be the belly to 2d shapes we're going to be using capsule and click and drag yeah click and drag right so um i have to change the color Okay. Um, you can see um, the rainbow is actually obstructing um, me from able to put this in the right position. So we'll just remove this for now and try to remove the rainbow away from the road. Move the rainbow. Okay. Um, yeah. So again, go to 2D shapes and capsule. Okay, so that is it. We can bring the rainbows back. So that is it. Yeah, so come here to brushes. And uh, you can just click on um, to them. Let's say water, water color. Just click on white. And don't forget to adjust the thickness. Okay, six, six should be okay. Just do a little thing here. Okay. Yeah, so that is it. We'll zoom out now. It's coming out nice. So what we can do now is um get rid of the guide. Yeah, so you can see only um the NFT we created, right? What you can do is come to the shapes, right? Click on um square. And just click and drag. Yeah, click and drag like that. Yeah, I can see um, it's affecting the face. Don't bother. Just come here and click on Make 3D. And you can see. So you adjust it, send it to the back. Yeah, so you resize this. 
I'm gonna slide this like this. Okay. Yeah. So I'm turning this to um, blue. Just where the other one was. Blue. Yeah. You can see. So just be making everything to fit in perfectly. So you can see the rainbow is coming out. It's not meant to be like that. So just adjust this. Yeah. Yeah. So this is it. So one thing also. You can see the ears. You can see there's holes in the ears. Normally, normally the ears, normally the ears doesn't have to have holes in them. So click on 2D shapes. Click on 2D shapes. Then click on square. I'll just draw a little box like such, right? Then just gonna just gonna so I'm just gonna click on make three D. Yeah, you can see. I'm just gonna put this at the back, okay? Yeah, I'm just gonna put this at the back. So we're gonna select everything for now. Just adjust it here. Then I'm gonna bring back our canvas. Yeah. Why? Because um, I want to get the color of the ear. So I'm gonna click on brushes. Click on fill. Then eyedropper to get the exact color. If you're not sure the exact color, just click on it and click on this, and you can see it's giving us the exact color. So I can get rid of this. Yeah. So select everything and bring it back. Okay. Yeah. What I can do is click on that, copy it. This then copy it and paste and bring it to the other side. Yeah, so we've gotten that. Uh, let me just adjust this a little. Yeah, yeah, so this is it. So this is it. Uh, just made um, the cool monk Genesis NFT using only paint. 3D so you can also add other things as well it doesn't make sense to just leave it like this so you can add other things as well just by keep on saying all you need is your imagination guys your NFT doesn't have to be perfect all you need is um, your imagination so you can add anything you want um, let's say uh, let's see this Then come here to make 3D. Yeah, I'm gonna send this to the back. Yeah, so you can put this and what else? Decided to put a big rainbow at the back. Okay. is useless doesn't make sense so you can leave it like this anyhow or you can decide to remove the rainbow and just add little stars you know little stars 
around it i could i would have done that but i don't want this video to be too long so that is it guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video i hope you guys love this video if you did please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up subscribe to my channel yeah i post videos on nft creation i make reviews on nft and security tips i give security tips on nft so that will be all for today guys and as always i will see you next time bye for now